Okay, sunshine, you got this. You got one shot. Here we go. <clears throat> Ledger lines. Hi, my name is Sunshine, and I'm going to teach you about notes that go above and below the staff. So, without any further ado, let's get this video started. I'll see you there. So, in our last video, we learned that every single line in a space had a name. And the names come from our first seven letters of the English alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after G, you always go back to A and repeat it over and over and over again. This came from the 6th century Roman philosopher Boethius. We also learned that an easy way to remember all the lines is by coming up with a saying. E for every good boat does float. E, G, B, D, F. Or, E, G, B, D, F. We also learned the pattern for the spaces. F, A, C, E. It spells out the word face. Fish. But if you notice, music isn't just confined to these notes here. It can also explore above the staff and below the staff. And after these two, if you go down one or up one here, you'll notice that we have this slash, this line here. And if you go up again, we have that same slash. And if you go up or down again, now you have two slashes or two lines. These extra lines are called ledger lines. Oh, it's up there. Come down here. Ledger lines. So ledger lines tell you exactly how high or how low a note is going to sound. So for example, here, I won't say example, so here, after E, let's figure out what the letter names are first. So E, if you go backwards, it's going to be what? It's going to be a D. Excellent. And let's go backwards. This is going to be a C. But I'm going to stop us real quick because this is a very special C. This C, yes, it is a C, but it's also called middle C. That's very special. And we'll talk about why that's special in a later video. But please know that the... The C, the ledger line below the triple clef, is going to be middle C. Okay, so we're here on C. Let's go backwards one more. That's a B right there. Okay. And two ledger lines down is going to be an A. All right, let's go all the way up here. Top line, we know it's an F. When we go up, we're going to go forward in the alphabet. So after F, above the staff is going to be a G. Go all the way back to A. So the first ledger line is going to be an A. What's the note above the first ledger line going to be? It's going to be a B. And then finally, two ledger lines above is going to be C. So this next part of the video, we're going to practice these ledger lines. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so time to practice our notes above and below the staff. So at this point, you're going to need to remember your patterns for lines and spaces to help you access these notes. So for example, we know for this one, this top line is an F, and so right after F is gonna be coming the letter G, okay? So your job is to now fill in the blanks. Um, go ahead and pause the video, try to figure out what each one of these are, and then I'll give you the answers, all right? Come back in about a couple seconds. Ready? Pause. All right, so let's go over the answers. This one up here is a B. This is a D, low D. This is a high A. This is a low B. A B. This is a high C. This is another C, but what kind of C is it? It is a middle C. That's very special, don't forget, middle C. Okay, we know that's a G, I went over that one. And this one's gonna be a low, low A. I hope that you got all those answers right. If you did, give yourself a little pat on the back. <coughs> Ouch. So now that we have talked about all the ledger lines and the spaces below the staff and above the staff, we have everything labeled from a low A, with two ledger lines down below the staff, all the way to a high C, two ledger lines above the staff. If I were to sing it exactly as it's written in the treble clef, remember treble clef is for higher pitched instruments, it's gonna sound like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
so I can't sing that high. Whew, you know what? I'm going to have to sing this down an octave lower. Let's see what that sounds like. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Wow, that was so much better. Do you know what I did? I sang it, I said I was going to sing it down an octave. Oh, I meant to do this. <laughs> an octave lower. So let's talk about octaves real quick. Octave, of course, meaning eight. An octave means that a certain note is eight steps away from the another note of the same letter. So for example, an A from this A to this A, it's going to be eight steps and you always count your first step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From this A to this A, it's an octave apart. They are eight steps away from each other. So these A's are all going to sound the same, but this A is going to be a little lower than this A. So if you're listening closely, you're going to notice that these A's are going to sound similar, but like I said, this is going to be lower, this will be in the middle, this will be high. A, A, A. So they all have that same tonality. If you can't quite hear it, let's take a look then at A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. And you should definitely be able to hear it this time. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. It's the same pattern, the same tonality, except this, these three were lower than these three, and these three were the highest out of all of them. This is what we call an octave. So, hope you were able to learn about octaves. So our first question is, the extra lines above or below the staff are called... You got three seconds. They're called the creepy eyes. I'm kidding. They're called the ledger lines. Next question. What is another name for this note? Is it middle C? Just a C? I see you. Or a special C? It is middle C. Da -ba -da -ba. Your next question. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. These are all examples of A, B, C, me, Sagan Gooder, octaves, or higher versions. And the answer is octaves. These are all examples of octaves. Yes, they are A, B, C, but we're more trying to figure out how all these A, B, Cs are related to each other. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed the things that we learned today. We learned about notes above and below the staff. We learned about ledger lines. We learned about octaves and why they're called octaves. So at home, try practicing a staff with a treble clef. Put some notes in the spaces or lines and practice putting them above and below the staff as well. And using those ledger lines or just putting right below or above, you know, that space above or below and practice labeling them. Is it a G? Is it a high A? Is it a B? Is it middle C? We also learned about middle C. Two, listen to songs with both male and female singers and listen, are they ever singing in octaves? All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson today. If you have any questions, put it down in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bella? Where's Bella? <gasps> Bella! Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> ah!